one very important concern is when a student is taking coaching and he is uh, reading from that material, uh, students tend to get uh, confused. Uh, should they be following the books or the material and they end up losing a lot of time in that confusion. So can you shed, that, shed some light on that factor as well? Yeah, uh, actually it's, it's, it's a trade of a good student that you try and collect more and more source and you try and study all of it. But the practical limitation is you will not be able to do everything. So if you are doing a coaching and you are satisfied with the material that they are offering you, you just stick to the material. You solve the material and that should be sufficient. Or if you are not satisfied or you have a greater appetite for learning, pick up one book. Don't buy too many books because that unnecessarily will eat up your time. Because practice, see, it's not required at all. What is the thing is you study from whatever source you are studying and what and you have to decide that right at the beginning of your preparation. Later on, you should not discover that if I should ha would have studied from here, it would have been better. Those kind of surprises shouldn't come to you. So you pick up the right source, either it is a coaching material or it's a standard book from the market or whatever. You decide that at the very stage, first beginning stage of your preparation and you try and stick to it. If you have studied the theory, it's because if, if you're satisfied with the theory, then you don't read, need to read any book anymore. What you have to do is collect more and more examination paper of previous competitive uh, years exams and the material that you have already and you solve them. If you are able to solve all the previous year questions, then it's done. You move on to the next topic, you move on to the next subject, you are done. Whatever is expected from you, you have achieved that. Now, you have to be more problem focused in your preparation. Try and solve more and more problems instead of reading more and more from books. Initially, though, initially you have to read from one good source. Either the teacher whom you are learning from is teaching you very well, his notes are sufficient, that's good. If it, that is not there with you, you read one book, one, any one book that you pick from. And read theory very good for the, in the first time. Understand everything that's there to understand. And after that, you solve problems. And the best source I tell you again is the previous year question papers that you need to solve. If you have solved all of it and you still think you need to solve more, buy a standard question bank from the market and you solve that. But I tell you, don't spend too much time in one subject or in one chapter or in one particular topic. Have a general approach and keep in mind that you can't miss out in any one area of J because questions are covered from mostly all the portions. So your target is not to do masters in organic or in physical or in math or physics. Your target is to cover the entire syllabus. So keep the track of time, how much you have in time, how much you have time in your hand. So I would suggest pick up one source and stick to it and solve more and more questions of previous years, previously asked in um, other competitive exams.